The better educated we are, the more we're likely to earn. And so many of us would like to get a degree, master's or MBA, except of course, life gets in the way and full-time study isn't always compatible with full-time jobs. Arden University has an approach that puts the needs of busy students front and center, offering flexible and distance learning built around a digital platform. With flexible pay-as-you-learn plans and 24-7 online support, students can be based anywhere in the world and combine their studies with their working lives. Will other universities follow suit? We went for a lesson in how education is changing. I'm Victoria Stakelum, I'm the Deputy Chief Executive here at Arden University. So Arden University was previously a company called RDI, founded about 30 years ago. Um, RDI partnered with traditional universities to deliver their online learning programmes and over time developed the full capability to deliver a learning experience, to be a university. Government granted us university status in 2015 and we designed the university that we wanted to be, which is quite a special thing really. We looked at our values as an organisation and worked out what it would mean to deliver a learning, a learning experience that spoke to those values. Um, and we designed that into the whole learning approach. So we deliver programmes that are highly workplace relevant, partly because they have a behavioural set woven into them that our students are assessed on. So they're assessed on their ability to creatively problem solve or to communicate effectively knowledge becomes redundant in a matter of moments these days. Whereas if we give people skills and the capability to learn, then they can be far more effective in the workplace. And that's what we're all about, really. My name is Matthew Cooper, and I'm the Director of Business, Technology and Graphic Design Programmes. I'm also the MBA Programme Leader for the Arden University. We get the input from professional bodies, from professional, they're called professional statutory and regulatory bodies, PSRBs, and employers to make sure that what we do is absolutely fit for purpose. So that could be a professional body like the Chartered Institute of Marketing, the Chartered Management Institution, the Association for Project Managers. I mean, one of the, the, the best decisions I ever have to make is giving a student extra time for their studies because they've got a promotion. And that happens time and time and again. Our students start with us, they do a couple of modules, they get that knowledge on board, gain those graduate attributes, gain that additional confidence. So a few years ago, when we were developing the university, we undertook a really big piece of research into adults in the higher education marketplace. And we established that there was a massive group of working adults who wanted to study but felt constrained. They felt that they couldn't um, travel for a residential experience. They couldn't stay away from their families. They had jobs, they had mortgages. Time was a pressure for them. Um, and their needs were clearly not being met by the traditional higher education marketplace. So at that time, when we were developing what what Arden University would mean as a concept, we took all of that into account and we designed our entire very flexible learning model around those constraints. So you can study a full-time three-year degree here at Arden on just two days a week commitment or a Saturday or two evenings a week. Arden University offer a range of programmes covering undergraduate and postgraduate. The areas we cover are various aspects of management, so we do HR, marketing, accountancy and MBAs. In addition, we do uh, computing programmes, digital technology solutions apprenticeships, and we also do some graphic design programmes, psychology, law and health and social care. The latest programmes we've offered are a range of apprenticeships, um, which is very much in line with, with kind of where the government's going at the moment and provision is heading. So apprenticeship programmes allow students to gain work experience and also study at the same time. At present, we have level seven and level six apprenticeship programmes in place. 
I'm Stacey Allen and I'm Director of Corporate Partnerships at Arden University. There are loads of advantages to degree apprenticeships. Here in the UK we have a huge problem and that problem is skill shortages, particularly for STEM subjects, for science, technology, engineering and mathematics. Demand massively outweighs supply and it's been that way for years. Um, kind of small picture that has a knock-on effect in terms of our businesses, their productivity and their ability to recruit and retain really high talented staff uh, and future leaders for their businesses. Um, bigger picture, um, it affects our ability as a country to compete on a global scale because in terms of productivity and advances we are um, falling behind France, Denmark, Norway, other countries such as that. Degree apprenticeships and apprenticeships in general are a really viable solution actually to this problem um, and we just need to act now on it because through um, employers and government getting involved in creating these vocational programs um, and designing these vocational programs they have been specifically set up to address skill shortages. I'm Mark Cotton, I'm the practice lead at a company called Crimson. Crimson are part of the Harvey Nash Group and we are a Microsoft solution broker concentrating mainly on the Microsoft Cloud solution stack. We've had the apprentices working with us in our organisation for about a year now um, and the organisation that uh, we work with to take on the apprentices, uh, an organisation called Digital Native, approached us and uh, asked us if we'd be interested in um, taking the guys on a degree level digital um, apprenticeship course. Um, so we were introduced to an organisation called Arden University and um, we liked what, liked what we saw. Uh, we like their culture, we like their enthusiasm, we, their facilities are fantastic. What we feel is that through their on-the-job learning, coupled with a degree level apprenticeship, what we're going to end up with is a fully rounded individual that's going to make a great uh, IT consultant. Ninety-eight percent of businesses here in the UK are small to medium-sized enterprises and the government has pledged to pay 90% of the training costs of your staff um, if put onto an apprenticeship programme. For the other 2%, um, the government categorises them as large levy payers. And what has already happened is through this government scheme, those businesses are paying in monthly um, to an apprenticeship digital service account. Um, so just like the government takes off national insurance, they'll take off uh, a fee basically for apprenticeship support. What happens um, after two years of the implementation is that the government will start to take these funds out of that account and effectively tax it off those organisations. So it really is a, a, a use it or lose it scenario. For businesses of that scale to implement you know, an effective apprenticeship programme, there is going to be a certain lead time. So again, I would say there's time pressure there and the time is to act now. we believe that since there have been various um, fee changes and part-time study changes within the sector, many working adults that would have once studied part-time have found it increasingly difficult to access part-time study opportunities. And we are on a mission to make higher education more accessible, engaging and beneficial for people everywhere. So when we think about access, we believe very strongly that your prior academic achievement is not the best predictor of your future potential. So when we're going through a recruitment process with someone that would like to study with us, we really take that person's individual mix of motivation, skills, experience and academic experience and we look at that holistically um, at an individual level and then support that person to, to undertake a qualification that they can thrive with. So we do that by treating people as individuals when they apply for a course here and understanding them in the way I described. 
We then have a learning experience that's highly applied. It's all about what you do and the skills you're developing. Within your first module, you might be set out to do a piece of consultancy within your organisation or to design and deliver a research project. So you, you aren't just reading books, you're onboarding skills very rapidly. To gain an Arden qualification, you have to be a really rounded individual. You have to gain a set of behavioural attributes. That's the beneficial bit, you know. We really game change our students' capabilities and, and we transform their lives, or they transform their lives, but we facilitate that for them and work in partnership with them to do that.